Hello everyone and welcome to this video. You probably clicked on this video because you want to know how much is a Bitcoin transaction fee? How much do I have to pay to send Bitcoin from one wallet to another? Now this is a really good question and the answer to this is not as straightforward as it may seem. Like we know online services like PayPal or banks, they normally have like rates, special rates that are fixed rates and maybe they get changed every two years or something like this. Uh, maybe some rates are percentages and they get adjusted. But how much is a Bitcoin transaction fee? So basically it always fluctuates. Yeah, so it is a fixed rate, but it constantly fluctuates even from one hour to the other. And this has mainly to do with how many people send transactions, how busy the network is and yeah, how high the Bitcoin price is at the moment. So we recently, of course, there was the big Bitcoin dip after Tesla announced that they will no longer accept Bitcoin as a payment form due to environmental reasons. Now we see this here. I have this chart here um, and you see here, this was where the drop was. And this chart here tells us the average Bitcoin transaction fee which at the moment, as of the filming of this video, is $13.44, which is obviously quite high. But um, think about it this way. If you send large amounts of, of cash um, to, I don't know, international recipients or whatever, then you can avoid having to pay banks and extra service fees, etc. So $13.44 might in the end end up being a lot cheaper. Despite this, there are obviously other cryptocurrencies that are a lot cheaper to send internationally as well. But even here we can see $13.44 is almost on the low end because they used to be a lot higher. At its peak, it was $62.79. Guys, this is a lot of cash. This is a lot of money for one single transaction fee. Um, but this goes beyond the purpose of this video. In this video, I just wanted to explain to you how is this fee like? How is it created? What is it? Is it a percentage? Is it a fixed rate? What is it? It's not a percentage. It is a fixed rate that very much depends on how busy the network is. So it changes from one hour to the next one. Um, this is why this chart here tells us the average transaction fee of the day. It's not $13.44 USD for May 17th, which is today. Um, as of the filming of this video. If I go to my wallet now and I create a Bitcoin transaction, there's no guarantee that it's going to be $13.44. It might be $5 higher, it might be $5 lower. This is just the average transaction fee. This is why it's important to understand because it varies a lot. And the most important factor, you guessed it, is the Bitcoin price itself. Because the higher the Bitcoin price is, the more demand is there, the more transactions the networks have to cover. And obviously then the higher it's going to be here, you can just go to whitecharts.com slash indicators or just I'll put the link in the description for you. And then you can check the Bitcoin, the average Bitcoin transaction fee as of today. Keep in mind that it fluctuates. So there's no guarantee that you'll actually pay this price now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, smash the like button and leave a subscription. Um, also follow my Instagram at AlexCAP and I just launched a Patreon as well. So if you manage to invest into some cryptos and they then go to moon, um, then yeah, consider becoming a Patreon. I don't have a single Patreon yet. It would mean the world to, you, to me if you become my first Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.